So very good <clears throat> morning to you, Crafty Lot. I'm sorry, I'm a couple of minutes late. Um, I just went to make a cup of coffee, but um, there is seven of us in the house, and sometimes making a cup of coffee can take you up to anything from 10 to 15 minutes, because every single time I boil the kettle, the kettle is really slow, so I walk away and do something, and then when I go back to the kettle, all the hot water is gone while I just boiled. So um, I had I had to sort of boil it three times to, to get a cup of coffee, but I got my cup of coffee here. Yes, so I'm nice and I can settle down and show today's make. I got so much lovely stumbles pulls to show to you. Um, spiral staircase is one of my absolute favorite stitches. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going a little bit. And I have done it in so many different uh, variations, different beads, different sizes of beads. So I'm just sort of trying to move this about so you can... And simple, there's so many different variations. I use smaller beads, I use seed beads, I use that's a double um, spiral at the end. I did a lot with crystals. I love the crystal ones because they really sparkle. But I will turn the camera around so I can show you on my mat. They will show up much better than um, showing up like this. Um, I hope you had a lovely day. Um, I know um, quite a few of you had to go up our previous makes because I've seen so many lovely pictures in the Total Beats Handmade group um, that's on Facebook and um, it, it's just so nice to see if you can inspire people and you keep coming back with your lovely pictures and your lovely makes and even 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 like if it's not from our one of our um, daily inspirations, if it's from somewhere else, you can still um, share your photos and um, we can all sort of craft together. So just say the good morning to you before I turned the camera. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Helen. Julie. Um, well, we got two Julies. Do we got Julie Brown? Bound. Bone, sorry. Um, I hope you said your name right. And Julie Riddler. Um, Jane, good morning. Um, good morning. D. Sarah is watching. Good morning, Sarah. Um, Chris, good morning. Um, Christine, good morning. Sue, um, good morning, Sue. She's saying she's enjoying all your makes. Oh, you very welcome, Sue. Um, I hope, like, you know, just to sort of give you a little bit of inspiration to, um, I guess, brighten your day and, and sort of, I think it's good because people are making it and we can go through and learn quite a few techniques and quite a few good different, like, you know, um, kind of jewelry making because we always, um, especially me, I set in my way. And if I do something in a certain way, I very rarely try to sort of try out different and new techniques. And when I am made to try different and new techniques, and I'm just like, oh yeah, that's so much easier and it's so much nicer to do it that way. So um, sometimes it's really nice to get fresh and good ideas from other people. Um, so good morning, Bernie. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning, Doris. Um, good morning, Patricia. Good morning, Julie. Um, good morning, Maria, Paula, um, Jane, good morning, Dawn. Um, Jane is saying it's a beautiful day um, in Yorkshire, where it's a beautiful day down here as well in the East Coast. So I was supposed to, yesterday I was at the office and today I'm working from home. So I've got a few bits of pieces to sort out, but we're going to be going and having a lovely walk on our lovely beach, which is probably about just a couple of hundred yards down the road. And um, hopefully I can get the children out as well. And um, just sort of go out for an hour. So I did already check the tide time. So low tide will be midday. And um, yeah, so I think about one o'clock we're going to venture out for a nice walk. Um, Chris is asking, can you tell us when the next USB is coming? Right, so the USB number four, we were supposed to um, release that on... Um, 1st of April, but because everything else is going on and we had to adjust our road, we have to adjust like, you know, what we're doing and even I had to go in and help um, picking orders and, and sorting bits out. Unfortunately, development of new stuff, I sort of really had to be slowed down um, until we get back a little bit of a normality. Um, the next one is going to be on duo beads and it's in the making. I got a few projects to finish. Um, we had a problem as well with the USBs themselves coming in. Um, um, from China because um, anything which is not priority and I, I presume priorities like medical stuff and, and stuff like that are really put back on the 
so you, you, it's really hard to get any um stock through from from China at the moment. But we got a warehouse full of beads, so we just have to make and use them what we got. And I'm sure you got a cupboard full of um stash at home as well. Really, just want to go through and use whatever we got. Nat is saying good morning. Good morning from um she's in Colchester. Um, good morning, Tracy Dawn. Um, good morning, Camille Maria Jill D. Dean, um, Karen, um, Karen's asking USB. Um, good morning, Joe, Beverly. Good morning, um, Pat. Good morning. Right, so let me just crack on and show you the samples, and then in the sort of between, I will tell you about all about USBs, um, our educational program. What we launched already. We launched three, so that's um, that's there and available for sale. I'm just going to turn my camera around and put it in my lighting rig. So you get a nice and lit up area there, so you can see what we're doing. So let me turn it this way. So now actually, I want to show you this one first, because this was the first ever spiral staircase I've done. Is going back most probably, oh God, about 20 years, I guess, a long, long time. Um, I can't even remember what kind of seed beads were these, but they might have been Czech seed beads. And um, this was one of the first stitches I learned myself as well. And I really, really enjoyed it. And hence it's keep coming back in various different projects, doing loads of um, different bits of pieces with it. Um, and so you see the clasp as well. It was quite different back then, I suppose, with the materials we had available. So um, I wanna show you these ones. Now these are most of my bracelets. I use little um, beads as closures on there, so there is no um, problem with the metal edges. But this is again quite a few years old. That's a double spire as well. I'm going to show you the single one today. But if you like, maybe later on I can show you the um, one as well in another video. It's quite easy to do. So that's just got a little three millimeter crystal on it. That's like a little hex beads on there. They just seed beads. They they are pearls, three millimeter pearls. Um, again, crystals. And then I got these necklaces, which I got a little bit more creative. So I've done a single spiral at the top and then a double in sort of on the side and a triple one at the bottom. Um, I, I made them in different pieces and then I sort of sewn them together, dividing them a bit of larger bead just to sort of give that little bit of extra decoration. This one is a single one at the top. And a triple one at the bottom is quite nice with colors sort of coming together. And I had an experiment with this one because I added two crystal buttons at the end and just made an extended piece at the back. Um, I think I went a little bit wrong with this one because what I should have done is add the bat button on one side of the triple one and add the uh, button on one side of the my single one which is will be going around my necklace because then you'll be able to have a bracelet and then then an extend with an extender i was would have been able to wear it as a necklace but never mind um you always live and learn so this this would have been one side of should have been a button and the other side should have been a loop and then i would have quite easily connect them together and made them separate or together as well but that's all my um, triple ones. And then um, we ventured into and did um, stuff with bicones. And I love these ones because they're really, really sparkly. Now on these necklaces, what I used is, um, the bicone is the same color, but as we're going down, we're graduating up in size and then back down as you're going up again. So you can do all sorts of different, oops, sorry, I just, all sorts of different colorways. They're really, really sparkly, and and it's it's a very easy to stitch. But what I would like to look so many lovely colors here. They're just really, really sparkly. I I love them all, and they grow quite quickly. So let me show you. That's probably my favorite, the dragonfly one. So let's um without further ado, let me show you how to do the stitch. Now we I added a bundle onto the website yesterday for crystal beads, all these lovely rainbow color crystals. Um and I said I'm gonna do the project with it today. 
just take a slip of my coffee and then pull the beads down what we need. So I added um, a bundle of four millimeter crystal premium crystal beads. Now premium crystal beads are really um, uniform in size. Um, they haven't got like, sometimes with crystals you get sharp edges. With this one, it's really minimal because um, they're really, really good top quality ones. They, the, the shine of what they give out is just really, really perfect. So I'm going to make a rainbow spiral and what you're going to need. So now as many crystal colors you want to use and um, the bundle on the website is in a special offer. Usually the 10 colors should be 25 pounds because they're about 100 beads in each bag. And so you get a thousand beads, but um, we discount it down to 15 quid. So um, as we're going along and planning ahead now, and I, I know you like these Facebook lives, so me and Sarah are trying to put it together sort of in a few days in advance. So what we really would like to get to is to give you the bundle in advance and then um, give you the opportunity that if you do need to, you can buy the materials and then do the Facebook live maybe a few days later. So then you can sort of create with us and make it at the same time how we making it. But, um, Hopefully, like this week, we can get sorted and, and caught up with work and um, be able to. So the seed beads I've chosen, they're just um, silver line clear seed. It's going to show up well on the um, camera itself because they're quite light. But I wanted a color which will go with sort of all of the crystals. So if you... Um, want to choose a color usually it's either grays or, or like clear silvers and um, they're the best when they go even with a rainbow finish or in, in fact gold as well I suppose you could do it so we're gonna work with two different um, sizes of seed beads here um, this is size 8 and this is going to be our core beads. So when I'm saying core beads, if I pick this up, the core beads are the ones which are go right down in the middle. And then we got, we got outer beads here, which with the crystals where we add sort of little loops going around our core beads. So the core beads need to be a slightly bigger size than your outer beads. You can do them in, in smaller ones as well, but then you need to pick up less beads because uh, around every single, where can I sort of nicely separate this up? So every single core beads, as you put the loop around it, so there is five core beads there for every single loop. And when you step down, you're going around the next five and the next five and the next five. So each of those core beads has at least five threads going through it. And that's without adding a new thread or weaving a new thread in. Um, so there's quite a lot of thread in there. So that's why it's better to start with larger beads. So I picked up five of my core beads. Now this is just size eight. I'm gonna take them down and then we straight away, we're gonna start our spiral with our lovely pattern. So I'm just gonna pick out one crystal each, what way I'm gonna be going. And simply we're gonna pick up two size 11 seed beads. We're gonna pick up our first color and two size 11 seed beads and I'm going to come from the tail towards my working thread through all five of those seed beads again our core beads and just pull it tight so all we created is this lovely little loop and we're gonna go and repeat this every single time as we go along down on our spiral but each time we're going to move along one core bead so the first thing you have to do in your next step you're going to pick up one core bead now i'm going to take this all the way down just like that so when i pick up my outer beads i still have to go through five of the core beads but I'm going to miss the first one and I'm going to go through from the second one so let me just quickly pick up my second set which is again two seed beads size 11 a crystal bead two seed beads size 11 and again from the tail end I'm going through five core beads but I missed the first one 
and from the second one to the one we just added I'm going to go to all of it and pull this tight and when I pull it up so you can see they're just sort of slightly one more down so I'm going to pick up another core bead slide this all the way down when I get into the stitching I guess I do um, pick the beads up at the same time but when you're a beginner I think it's easier if you pick the core bead up first because then you already have all the beads there so I'm missing the first one and the second one and I'm going through the last five including the one I just added and pull it up tight just like so sometimes I like to suspend the work um, in my hand so I would wrap the tail end around my index finger and um, it's just easier to hold on and you're going to carry on in the same way all the way down until you sort of keep spiraling around so i'm going to add a few more beads because i want to sort of go around at least at once so i've got a lovely little style are you and um in the same time i'm going to try to have a look at your comments and read out your lovely comments. Now, if your um, beading is a little bit buckling, then you don't have to go through all five of them at the same time, because I just gone through three, because I changed the direction here, and then I'm gonna go through the other two, but make sure you always go through the five core beads. It's entirely it's up to you. And keep your loops to the same side as well, because that's how you get this lovely spiral pattern coming down. So let me just see your lovely comments. Press on the iPad. They keep disappearing on there. Comments on. Pat saying, morning Kitty. Really enjoying the tutorial. Thank you very much. Morning Beverly. Morning Galene. Morning Sheila. Morning Dorothy. Um, Jill Davis, I had the kit and completed three thirds of it. I'm going to finish it now. Yes, um, get it out of the cupboards or drawers or wherever. <laughs> like I hid my all my stuff everywhere. Right? Well, not hidden, but when I them away, they sort of. I got quite a few drawers and cupboards um, to put them in. Doris is saying, Kitty, you are going to be blurry and freezing in parts. Um, I, I presume is that's for our walk. So we just have to wrap up warm and. Um, and oh, oh no, I thought you were referring to our um, video um, of uh, our walk from the beach, but I presume you referring to the video. I think with the internet at the moment, because there are so many people on the internet, they are, um, even I get it, that uh, if I want to watch something on Netflix, else it, it stops and starts in in places so just have to bear with me the video will be going on totally beads page facebook page and um you can go back and re look at it later on then if your connection is um will be a bit better and also now facebook is allowing you to upload everything in hd so hopefully we can upload a better quality video and then when you watch it back it will be even better for you just let me get out my next five crystals i thought doris was referring for the walk we're going to have on the beach later on because it's nice and sunny day and i haven't really been outside to check if it's breezy but um oh never mind Right, so I'm just keep going on. So I've picked all those lovely beads up and then I'm gonna go through the next five here. Um, Karen is asking, does the crystal kit make more than one necklace? So you have, um, in there because each of those bags will contain a hundred crystals so you will have um, a thousand crystals in total now depending how long you want to make your necklaces or how long you want to make your bracelets uh, you can get quite a few out of them um, I would say let me just I've got three more beads to add and I'm gonna show you the how far I got just with ten crystals so I reckon Oh, sorry, three beads. I just need two there. So I reckon 10 crystals is going to be just over an inch. So you can think if you got a thousand crystals, 
that's going to make you quite a long rope if you did it continuously. I got a little bit bigger wrists than um, the always job with Sarah because she's got so nice little dainty ones and her bracelets are, I always say, um, Sarah's size bracelet is so much easier to make <laughs> almost half the time as my um, size bracelets because I got quite chunky bracelets but even I suppose if I had the 10 bags of crystals I could make at least 10 bracelets out of it and Sarah could make even more with her lovely dainty wrists. Just pull this up nice and tight and I'm just adding the last colour in there now so you will be able to see how I'm going to finish this bracelet later on and then I will post a picture on Facebook for you to see. So that's all 10 colours are in there now. So it is, um, I have a ruler here. Yeah, I've got one. Look at that. I've been starting tidying and reorganising my craft room. Um, so the 10 crystals is making you yeah, just over an inch, an inch and a, and a quarter, I would say, or three centimeters. I started to reorganize my craft and my label up things. And how lovely is that? Look at all the colors coming through. Now, once you get um, to your last one, the last crystal, the 10th color, you just start again with the first one and keep going. I'm sort of spiraling your lovely colors all around but I, that's just really I, I, I really like rainbow patterns and I have created quite a few sort of different things in kits with rainbow patterns before because it's just fascinating how one color can go into another um Bernie's saying bead along is a good idea yes we're gonna sort of rethink it and work it out with Sarah as well that we can um sort of <laughs> give you more of an advanced warning what we're gonna be doing um, Camille is saying, is it just mine or does the picture keep going in and out of focus? I think that's the internet as it's slowing up and down. Sorry, it's a bit blurry, but ca cannot see the bees clearly. Um, do try to go back to the video later on and um, see that if you can get a better connection. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm sort of trying um, my best, but I'm not really an internet biscuit, so... Um, Julie's saying it keeps going blurry for me as well. Chris saying blurry here too. Um, Kieran saying it's not just for you. Kitty, you are getting stuck and repeating your words. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Angela think I think Angela's saying I think I'll need the PDF as it's quite blurry. Can't always see what you're bringing. Yes, there is a PDF for this one. So. Um, on the website, um, the PDF I'm going to be giving to you is um, going through all the different sizes of crystals because as you get to larger parts, you're going to be adding um, different numbers. So with the PDF, um, if you download it, if you're working with four millimeter crystals, just stick with the instructions where it shows you the four millimeter crystals in there. So the PDF is on Totally Beads website. If you go on our website, um, on the left hand side there is a little um in one of the categories called free projects and if you go in there you can find the free pdf you can also find this crystal um bundle i also put clasp on there because most of my spiral necklaces are used um this lovely magnetic clasp um which i'm going to show you um this comes in a couple of sizes let me just pull this thread through. It's in, it comes in a couple of sizes. You got um, eight millimeter, and then you got um, twelve millimeter as well. They are really, really strong and quite decorative as well. And I just like to use them in all. Let me just grab another color here. And one of the necklaces, I use them on quite a few of my designs because they are quite strong and so easy to do as well and undo as well um when you especially when you're trying to put a bracelet on there's nothing worse when you're trying to sort of open and close the lobster clasp and this way with this magnetic clasp are just so easy to um create and go along and um 
put them on and take them off like you know within seconds really just makes life so much easier and especially if you've got problem in movement in your fingers or if your um mom i had to change quite a few from my mom um on her necklaces um it's a really handy thing to have. so i just added a couple more and as you can see as the colors are repeating it's really coming together um i'll so do go and download a pdf um, from the website check out the bargains as well with the um, crystal still on there for 15 quid it usually should be 25 pound um, also there's a couple of another another I think um, bits in there on the page as well I left the three millimeter hematite on there for today as well because that would be a perfect um, sort of if you wanted a less of a toned rainbow um, to do because those hematized beads are so, so nice. Um, I didn't bring any bit home with me today, but you could do your spiral with those as well. Um, but you could do with any sort of beads you have at home, as long as the only one rule, they really have to be the same size so, so you can get a nice and even spiral going all the way around. Um, it does go quite quickly. Um, once you sort of get going with it, um, as I said, this was one of the first stitch I learned and I really, really loved it and um, keep sort of continuing and, and, and doing and you can just sort of, is this one of those, is pattern repeat, you can pick it up and put it down whenever you need to. Um, so yes, yeah, so the PDF on the website, please go and check that out. Um, Julie, it keeps going, it keeps doing it on mine too. I, I presume that's going blurry. I'm so sorry. Um, everything is five, Margaret saying. Probably she's, she's meaning everything is fine here. I'm still able to follow what you're doing though, Julie's saying. Dorothy, I am in Glasgow, Margaret, so Scotland must be okay okay today um karen saying you are very talented oh thank you so going back to the usbs one of you asked about the usbs now we last year we um we've been talking about this i suppose for a couple of years now but um last year we created an educational usb and actually i think i got one on my desk so i'm just gonna grab it and show it to you I've got all three of them here great so this educational use these are really great thing if you want to get into beading and jewelry making so this was the that's the second one this was the first one and that's the last one we um released the first one is a beginner's guide for beading which has got 30 projects on there some videos and loads of pictures um is great because it's got um multiple ports on there so that goes into your apple phones goes into your ipads goes into you know it's a, an, an apple lightning port on there on the other side you got your normal usb port um which would go into your computer or you would go into your um well, the PCs, um, any laptops, um, and if you flip this up, you got a micro USB, which is some of the um, Android devices uses this port as well. So you could go into the as well. So if you got a Fire tablet, it will go in there as well. And um, we got a separate little piece, which is then converted to USB C, because some of the new computers started to use USB Cs as well. I haven't got any of that with me, but that comes in with it, with it as well. Um, um, the second one is progressing um, in beading. So this one was, um, this one's got 20 projects on there with pictures, but all 20 of them has videos and it's on there because what we learned from the first one, the what you were asking, you wanted to see more videos. It plugs into the TV as well, um, by the way. And then the third one, it's got 20 projects on there again. This is mastering um, flat stitches. So it's a loads of um, flat spiral on there. Oh God, um, um, Hubble stitch, flat slini, um, or oh, chenille, sorry, I always say it the wrong way. Um, we got double daisy stitch, we got, um, Oh God, but I only did it a couple of months ago. When you sort of, I'm working with you every single day, doing and looking at different bits, but when you have to sort of start listing them, you like your brain goes, I suppose, dead. So that was the third one. And we're gonna be releasing the fourth one soon, which is gonna be 
working with geobeads and doing all sorts of wonderful things. I've got a sample right here. So this will be on there um, because geobeads has got two holes. So that will be the next one coming in the, in the line. But um, because they are really, you know, versatile, you can print out the PDFs as many times as you want. Um, each of those um, USB has got around 80 printable PDFs on the 80 pages so there's a lot to learn from and the second and the third one's got a video on every single project and make a longer you can sit and follow right so there is saying um me too kitty i made them for glasses chains and different colors to match the dresses i suppose you're um the these ones um I, i've been telling you quite a few things now so i'm not sure that um what was the comment on it thank you anyway kitty can still follow it. you are very clever um that's for the um, quality i suppose for, of the video so that's it really there's nothing more i can show you you just have to a bracelet properly would me take me an hour or so just to sit there and stitch together um you can use different colors size eights to size 11 so it will show up even more maybe i should have done that in the video for you so you could have seen it better but that's what you're doing you keep you stepping up with one seed bead one size eight seed bead on every single loop and just keep adding your loops all the way around and doing it in this lovely um sort of rainbow pattern um i think it's just really mindful for some people at the moment what's been going on on social media and really sort of thinking and thanking our nhs staff or doctors and nurses who has to go out there and do and still do their work and um really data heroes at the moment i guess because everybody you know would have been afraid to to go or I, I would be afraid if I had to go to hospital now I would be afraid as well to go in but they are real heroes and I think they really need um you know maybe you could make some of these up and give them away as gifts for your um nurse friends or if you've got anybody in the family I think just really brighten somebody's day up they look really nice and sparkly so that's it for me today I will finish this bracelet and post the video um oh, sorry post a picture of it um on Facebook later on so you can all see it as well probably I post it on my page as well which is Kitty Robinson Designs um thank you everybody for watching me I hope you have a lovely day um the Hope we get out for a nice walk and all the children's gonna come and <laughs> and, and um join us as well. Um have a lovely day. Tomorrow um it will be me and um Friday is gonna be Sarah with her crisscross necklaces. So we're gonna keep doing these um 10 a.m. videos as long as we can and um for you to enjoy and inspire you. And um, we, we are running into sort of the um, the problem now that not everything what's being requested and, and people messaged us to do certain different techniques. We haven't got PDFs for everything, but um, I think it's just worth to do a video anyway and then you can uh, follow the instructions from the video. So we'll be working on with Sarah we'll put our heads together and see what we're going to do next week so thank you very much for watching and um I will see you tomorrow and Sarah's going to see you on Friday